Here's a quick and easy way to create and share Corel Aftershot presets. All right, guys, welcome back. So you asked for it, you got it. Corel Aftershot Pro presets. You wanna know how to create them, and even more importantly, how to share them, either with yourself or the community. So we're gonna jump right in today, but before I do, I wanna tell you what is the reason for doing this. Now, just like Lightroom, Corel gives you that ability to create presets to basically save time. We know time is money. So let's say for me, I create a preset that's specific to my look. Maybe it's a rundown, let's call it a distressed look, right? Once I create that, now I can use that forever. I can just simply click on that preset and now the image that I took looks like that. Now you might want to do some tweaking after the fact specific to that image but at least you have all of that work done right away with one single click. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's jump right in. I selected two images that I want to correct and we use the same model last time. I like these images. As you can see here it says basic adjustments. I'm gonna go and make some adjustments. I always start out with perfectly clear. It just really does a good job of getting that contrast just right guys. Always start with perfectly clear and then make modifications. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make some changes to the image. Let's boost up exposure. Let me take this highlight. I'm going to move that over to 100%. And let's say this will be to 90. Let's give it a little bit of fill here. Blacks, let's boost those blacks up and really make those intense. I like that. Saturation, we're gonna back down to 70% will be good. Contrast, let's boost that all the way up. Vibrancy, move that down, maybe all the way down. There we go. Now we only have a little bit of a hint of color poking through. I like that. It looks a little bit distressed. It's like an old image. There's not a lot of blues in it. It's kind of muted. I like the way this looks. Now, now what we're going to do is take this look and we're going to create it into a preset. Now, if we take a look down below, let's go ahead and twirl up the basic adjustment so we can see the preset area. Here we have black and white, color, landscape, so on and so forth. What we're going to do is we're going to create our own preset folder. So we come down here into this little folder icon where there's a plus, click on that and it says untitled. Let's name it my presets. There you go. Very original. So there it is. Done. What I want to do now is click on done and then click on the plus symbol in the upper right hand corner. Now this brings a box that says save preset. Now here we're going to name the preset. Let's call it distressed. All right, that looks good. Now we have the ability here to either use basic settings or advanced. If you click on advanced, you can see that there's a lot of things that you can check mark, like metadata and rotational stuff, red eye. You can change, let's say, watermarking, whatever it is, you can carry it over and actually burn that into your preset. And then whenever you use that preset, all of that data comes across. For now, we're just going to simply use basic, and now everything that we need is a already check marked. We're going to click OK and now you can see down here there's a preset called Distressed. If I click Manage once again, take the Distressed preset and drag it into my My Preset folder, as you can see it is now in there. Click on Done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the other image up and instead of going through in the basic adjustments and changing all this by hand once again, we're simply going to come down into Presets, click on Distressed, and there you go. It's done. It looks fantastic. It's the exact way that I want it. And now, once again, I can use this forever. Let's say I'm doing a wedding and I like making wedding shots look a certain way so it's for my personality or like for this one I want things to look distressed. I can simply click on distressed and now make any kind of modifications that I want to going forward but most of the heavy lifting is already done. As we say, time is money. We want to get really good images out to the client but we want to do them quickly. So now let's go ahead and share them. From Windows we're going to go to Run and then we're going to type in the percent symbol local app data and then percent again. Click enter and then go down into the folder Corel Aftershot Pro 3 presets and then our my preset folder and you will see 
distressed. That is the preset that we're going to share with the community or with ourselves. Let's say if we have a laptop and we want to just send it over to that laptop, we can create these presets once and then use them forever. We can do the exact same thing in OS X. We go into our user folder, then we go down into library, application support, Aftershot Pro 3, presets, and then once again, my presets, and you'll find distressed. Same way, take that file and you can share it. So that's it guys, really simple, a quick, easy way to create presets in Corel Aftershot Pro 3. As always, if you enjoy the content, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools that I've created for photographers just like you. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.